if you have two different power supply main power supply or generator power supply it could be inverter power supply ups power supply or solar panel supply and if you want to control your load when main power supply is on so your load should run on main power supply at same time generator or standby power supply is on so your load should run on main power supply when main power supply will stop so your load automatically transfer to standby power supply you can see here now our load is running on standby power supply when main power supply will come so your load automatically transfer to main power supply so for controlling to different power supply we need to install double power auto transfer switch by this double power auto transfer switch we can control to different power supply automatically when main power supply will run your load will run on main power supply when main power supply is stop so your load is transfer to generator power supply so let's start video and first know about this double power auto transfer switch so this double power auto transfer switch is made by cnc electric which model number you can see here on your screen by this double power auto transfer switch we can control two different power supply in this double power auto transfer switch we have auto and manual switch by this auto manual switch we can select a function if you select this switch on manual that means you can transfer your load manually okay if you want to run your load on main power supply so you can run your load on main power supply by manually also if you want to stop your load so you can stop on off and if you want to run your load on a standby power supply or generator power supply so you can select manually and if you select this switch on auto function that means when your main power supply will on so your load will run on main power supply when main power supply will off so your load will run on generator power supply okay so first your load will run on main power supply when main power supply will off so load run on a standby power supply okay we have some indicators when main power supply will on so this indicator will blink when generator power supply will on so this indicator blink if your load run on main power supply so this indicator will blink if your load run on a standby power supply so this indicator will blink we will see all this function practically this auto change over switch rating is 6 to 3 ampere that means till 6 to 3 ampere load you can run directly with this double power auto change over switch now let's understand connection first we see power terminals you can see here we need to connect a phase and neutral of main power supply here you can see here need to connect a main power supply or grid power supply here and generator power supply or standby power supply phase and neutral connects here it is a input terminal and output connection so first we need to loop phase to phase that means first connector to third connector and neutral to neutral that means second connector to fourth connector so we need to loop and you can connect a load any of the two points okay we will connect all connection practically now we have some control terminals if you want to connect any indicator or alarm so you can connect by this terminal but because we have already indication on this auto change over switch so in this video we are not connecting any indicator if you want to connect any indicator or buzzer or alarm so you can connect it directly okay now first main power supply and standby power supply we need input power supply first connect main power supply phase and neutral to this double power auto change over switch so first we connect phase wire to this main power supply so phase connect in this auto change over switch also we connect neutral so connection is very simple anyone can connect this auto change over switch easily now let's see standby power supply so first we connect a phase here to standby power supply mcb so first connect in first terminal and neutral connect in second terminal so we connect both power supply in this auto change over switch for load we connect one cooling fan you can connect any of the load okay so for output connection as we told earlier we need to connect a phase to phase looping that means first connector to third connector that means phase to phase looping and second connector to fourth connector that means neutral to neutral looping okay so output connection is very simple for load connection we need to connect a phase and neutral to this cooling fan so we connect a phase here 
एंड न्यूट्रल सेकेंड टर्मिनल ओके सो लोड कनेक्शन इज नाउ डन यू कैन सी हियर फेस एंड न्यूट्रल कनेक्ट दिस ऑटो चेंज और सच आउटपुट टर्मिनल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कनेक्ट दिस लोड हियर सो यू कैन कनेक्ट अवे इजिली नाउ आवर कनेक्शन इज कंप्लीट नाउ डन नाउ लेट्स सी वर्किंग ऑफ दिस ऑटोमेटिक चेंज ओवर स्विच फर्स्ट वी सिलेक्ट दिस स्विच ऑन ऑटो फर्स्ट वी ऑन स्टैंड बाय पावर सप्लाई और जनरेटर पावर सप्लाई सो लोड is running on generator power supply when main power supply will on so your load will automatically transfer to main power supply when main power supply will off so your load automatically transfer to standby power supply you can see here when again main power supply will on so your load will transfer automatically to main power supply you can see here indicator now load is running on main power supply so main power supply indicator is blinking now load running on generator and standby power supply so standby indicator is blinking you can see here when main power supply will on so you can see here indicator is showing on main power supply okay now we select a manual if you want to transfer your load manually so first you select a main now load running on main power supply first we stop power supply manually power is stop if you want to run a standby power supply so you can transfer your load on a standby power supply now load is off if you want to run your load on main power supply so you can select manually so if you want to transfer your load manually so you can select a manual function if you want to transfer your load automatically so you can select auto function i hope you clear all the concept of this double power auto change over switch if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough We'll meet next video. Thanks for watching.